Alright guys, so yesterday, my friend made a video about the, the Snyder Cut, and negative people saying it's just going to be the Justice League all over again. We don't even call it Justice League, we call it Justice League, because Josh Whedon is an idiot, and he made that crappy movie, and that's what happened. So now, I'm here to give another rant for you about this movie. Okay, I'm pumped for the Snyder Cut, and all DC fans should be, because this is a celebration, this isn't a movie, this is a celebration of everything DC stands for and everything Warner Brothers does not. So as a DC fan, you should be in for this movie. I mean, Zack Snyder is coming back, and it is literally a cultural coming together moment that no nothing else has ever topped or even come close to. Like, Marvel's doing fantastic things, but Marvel's not doing what DC is about to do. This, yeah, Endgame was three hours, cool. This is four hours of a movie that we almost never got to see, guys. It's crazy. So people are complaining, because in this four-hour movie, it has been reported that Ben Affleck is going to drop F-bombs as Batman. And for some reason, some idiots get in their stupid head that Batman can't swear. What is this, fucking Captain America? Are we in the Marvel movies? Are we owned by Disney? No. Fuck that shit. No. That is not true. This is a different scenario. And Ben Affleck said... No, Zack Snyder said about Ben Affleck that when the moment happens, it is earned. It is rightfully earned why he swears. And it adds, he's an adult. This is a dramatic situation where sometimes it's necessary based on reacting to what's happening. Like, it's crazy. Like, really? Like, just remember in Titans, man, when Robin said, fuck Batman, everyone freaked out about it. But it works in the story because what's going on with Robin is related to the fuck Batman moment. So yeah, Affleck dropping an F-bomb? Hell yeah. I mean, I love me some Ben Affleck. I think he's hands down the greatest Batman we've gotten in live action so far. He's the closest Batman we've gotten to Kevin Conroy. He, I'm a little biased because I am big into the DC universe. Like, I love all the shows. Most of the movies I love, I have problems with Wonder Woman 1984. But we'll get into that when we do our ratings of the films coming in a couple weeks. But yeah, guys, the Snyder Cut is coming. Hallelujah. We are here. It's going to be amazing. March 18th is going to be a beautiful, amazing day. And I hope we can all just celebrate at home throughout this pandemic and celebrate what we're getting. Because this content is going to be truly remarkable. And it's probably going to end up being the greatest thing DC's ever done. Because, fun fact you guys, Zack Snyder has always made the movies he wanted to make. He never owned up to what Warner Bros. wanted. Warner Bros. wanted Batman vs. Superman and wants this movie to be funny. No. Story-wise, it doesn't make sense for there to be humor shoved in there. This is all about... This is a dark story. A man who lost his parents putting together a team of heroes. And unlike Marvel, we don't have heroes. We have gods. You ever play Injustice? It's called Injustice Gods Among Us. It's exactly how we feel. Superman is a god, not a hero. So yeah, guys. That's how I feel about that. This rant is just... Look. Fucking idiots need to cool off because the Snyder Cut's going to be amazing and you're just all sad that you didn't think of it and you're so butthurt. Like, it's just going to be Justice League again. No, Joss Whedon is an idiot. He no longer works for DC. This is not happening. That movie was a disaster. One of the worst comic book films ever seen right up there with some of the other bad ones that we all already know of. Zack is a craftsman cinematographer and masterful and he has earned my respect as one of the greatest directors of all time if Kevin Feige is one of the best producers of all time then Zack Snyder is one of the best directors of all time so hallelujah hell yeah Snyder Cut see you guys March 18th I'll make more videos soon but thank you guys so starting in February we're going to on my channel we're going to be re-watching all the DC EU films prior to the Snyder Cut so thank you guys um, for coming to the channel and listening to my rant. I appreciate it. And by the way, fuck you, Joss Whedon. And y you guys, you haters need to stop hating. This is going to be good. And this is going to be so good. Your minds are going to be melted, guys. I mean, let me run this down for you. We're getting a proper Justice League film. We're going to see Dark Side. We're getting a good step in love, not the piece of crap that was in Justice League, which is what we're calling it now. And on top of that, we're getting Martian Manhunter and Green Lantern, guys. So, hallelujah, ignite the seven, and release the Snyder Cut. All is good, everyone. All is good. Hallelujah, the Snyder Cut.
Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you next time.